is John Oman Outdoors. Let's talk fishing rods, specifically ugly stick fishing rod, and a little slight review and some pros and cons of what I found out about this rod. Join me right here in my little ham shack. I'm also an amateur radio operator, W5CYF, and what you see behind me is all my radios. But right now, let's take a look at this rod. Now this rod right here, uh, this actually has a PC Fun reel on it, and I'm going to review that reel a little bit later on. But uh, this is specifically about the rod, and I've had an opportunity to use this rod uh, for about a week. It is a fantastic rod, but there's always that but included in that. The uh, particulars of this rod, this is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Light Pro. Now, me and Ugly Stick, we go back a long ways. I'm 73 years old and I started fishing Ugly Sticks, I guess probably when they first came out many, many decades ago, back when they had the old pistol grip on them. And I remember I had one that had the little bantam reel on it. It was a lot of fun. They are fantastic rods. Uh, they are uh, economical rods. They're a great value for the money. This specific one right here, I'll turn it over so I can read it. This is the uh, six foot six inch. The action is ultralight, two to six pound line. I do throw, as you follow the videos before, I go down to about a one sixty fourth inch jig. I fish primarily panfish uh, alone and uh, with occasional Fourier's off into other things, but it's primarily just panfish. So I use the panfish magnet, crappie magnet, trout magnet style baits a whole lot. That's why I like this rod. The uh, rod has the uh, uh, little uh, stainless steel uh, rod guides through it. They work phenomenal. It's a pretty rod. It's a beautiful rod. The, th the threading on it, the handle goes all the way through. It is a graphite fiberglass composite. These sell at Walmart for around $42. But, and here's the but, it's a little too heavy for me. Uh, at uh, 73, and I've said this many times before on this channel, channel is for everybody who enjoys God's great outdoors, but it's specifically aimed at those folks my age or perhaps a little bit more that may have some shoulder injuries, uh, uh, perhaps a fixed income, probably could afford anything we want, but we're wise with our money and we just enjoy getting out fishing, hunting, camping, hiking, and so forth. If you don't have shoulder problems, this I cannot recommend this a rod highly enough. It's fantastic. So smooth. It's uh, very comfortable in your hand, but with me and my shoulder, it's a little bit off balance. Now I'm using a uh, 2000 size reel here, so I think I'm going to probably go back to the uh, lose uh, laser light stick, uh, but I really hate to, I really do, because now I've caught several fish on this, I've been showing a few of them up there in the corner several times I've been using it, uh, but I kept the wrapper and all on it, and I do think I'm going to go back, I really like this uh, handle on it, I don't particularly like that, I think they kind of sissified the little two piece handle here, uh, but uh, you know, whatever floats your boat I guess. But I just like a big cork handle, and I, I like everything about this one, but it's a little bit top heavy up front. Other than that, it's a great rod. And, you know, if you want to spend between $30 and $40 on a real good rod, economical, it gets the job done. The Shakespeare Ugly Stick Pro, you could do a lot worse and get this one right here. Anyway, to a meet again, this is John, Old Man Outdoors. We'll see you out in God's Great Outdoors.